everybody it's Pina here welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to make this nice crochet hook holder um, basically I'll open it up and you can have a look you can either this is for a left-handed person so I've made this so the cord wraps around this way but you can have it where it's wrapping around that way um, so you'd have to attach it to this side but I've attached it to that side because it's for somebody who's left-handed. Now, inside you've got space for one, two, three, four, five hooks. You can you can attach your stitch markers, you can attach your um, uh, needles, and um, well, if you wanted it, this this one here is seven inches by seven, so it's a square. But if you want it extra large for more hooks, you can expand it wider. Um, so just tailor it to your own sort of specifications whatever you feel like you want it how big you want it you can do it um, but I've made this one it's this one here is for the uh, purpose of the tutorial is seven inches by seven and I've got five of the most important hooks that I use there so it's good for traveling as well so all you have to do is wrap it round and then tuck the um, butterfly attachment butterfly so it gives you that security that they're, they're held in place so let's get started I'm going to show you um, what I used for this project um, for this project I used a let's have a look what I use. so I use this yarn which is called yarn fair it's an acrylic yarn it's just something quite cheap um, but it's just for a crochet holder so you don't have to have any fancy yarn for that um, this yarn requires a five millimeter hook, but I'm going to use a 4.5 millimeter hook for this project because I want it slightly tighter. And this is another color, the same yarn, but in a different color. Um, not sure what the colors are. If you like this color, it's let's have a look. It doesn't actually say what colors they are. So, um, no, it doesn't actually say. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I found in a cheap yarn shop um, just for this project. Um, and I'm going to use these two colours for this project. And for this, I also used a 4.5, let's just zoom in so you can see, 4.5 millimetre hook for this. So just that's what I used. And we're going to start today with the outer casing because there's two layers. There's the inner layer, that's this bit, and there's the outer bit. And then you've got the shell stitching across the edges. But I'm going to start with the outer edge um, and then we, we sort of sew it together. So it brings it a lot more solid and firm. It's much more firmer to hold your hooks. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's get started. Right, I'm going to take my beige yarn, which is this one here, and I'm going to start with a chain, a chain of, I would say, chain of tw you could, 27 chains will give you that seven times seven um, square. So if we do 27 chains and uh, we're going to do 29 rows of single crochet after we've done our 27 chains. So we'll start with a slip knot on your hook. Pull it tight. It's quite simple because single crochet all the way. Most of this project is with single crochet. Um, so we're going to do 27 chains for this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-seven on chains and we're going to do now 29 rows of single crochet and that's what we're going to do for now so 
what we're going to do, we're going to start, put your hook into the second chain from the, um, from the hook. So just put your hook in, pull up a loop, pull through two. Put your hook in the next one, pull up a loop, pull through two. So we're going to do single crochet all the way on this foundation chain row. So single crochet all the way and I'll tell you what to do in a minute when you get to the end. So single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. So you've got all your chains made up. Okay. Single crochet. You can do it as tight or as loose as you want it, but I prefer to do it pretty tight because um, it just makes it extra sturdy, the whole project. So that's pretty start tight. You can use any yarn you want really for this, but I prefer to use this, this one here. It's quite a thick, a solid lot yarn. Um, and all the way to the very end. And then you've got your last one at the end here, pop your hook in, single crochet. So you've done your first, first, first row. Now for this bit, we're going to chain one and turn your work and then continue again. Single crochet all the way down. So you're going to do this uh, 29 rows in total. Okay, turn 29 rows in total. So after the 20, what you do after every, at the end of every row, just chain one and start again, single crochet all the way, and then chain one, single crochet. So chain one at the end of every row or at the beginning of, of the next row. Um, and then you've got 20, and I'll see you in, the, in a bit when you've done 29 rows. Okay, we're back and we've done, I've done 28 rows. And I'm going to do my last one, 29th row, and show you how to work the border of single crochet all the way around so you get something where the shells can attach to. So for this bit, um, we're going to do uh, the, the last row of single crochet. So I've done my last row, chain one, and do the next, the very last and 29th row of single crochet all the way along so just go right to the edge Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and all the way to a corner. So you've come to the corner bit now because we're going to work along this bit here we're going to put um, a single crochet into that corner chain one and go back in and do another single crochet so you've got a bit of a sort of a corner shape there going now along here we're going to do we're going to literally put single crochets into every every space that you see until we come round and then come back out again 
So I'll show you how to do that. So for this one, we're going to go into the next space that you see, which is there. Put your hook in, pull up a loop, single crochet. Another space there, put your hook in, single crochet, space there, single crochet, all along wherever you see a space. And these spaces are usually in between the rows, as you can see. And if you've got a space there, you've got a space there, you've got a space down there, space down there. So, and then you've got it right at the top there where you can see the gaps and just make them as even as possible. So you get an even border. I'm just gonna put my hook in into every space. And that gives it a nice edging. All the way down. Single crochet. to the corner okay so now we've got to get a little gap in the corner there so what we're going to do do one more and in that gap we're going to do a chain one and then another single crochet so you've made another corner okay so now we're going to work along this edge which is your chain base of your work where you worked your work into the chain into the chains i should say and then you just pop your hook into the next space you see and single crochet so single crochet all along each space that you see tining I mean um, sort of weaving in your ends as you go along if you've got any ends just kind of crochet it in so um, for this we're going to just go along holding the ends that I have here underneath and in we go crochet all along this edge in here put your hook in to the spaces that you see crochet in so you've got a nice border there as well I'm gonna let you finish off this bit here and then I'll meet you um, and then if you do this bit just crochet single crochet all along um, single crochet into the corner chain one single crochet single crochet all down this edge and I'll meet you before we finish off Okay, so we've come to the end of this this um, um, this is the last bit here. So what you do is um, you're going to put your hook in, and you're going to do a single crochet into the last few. And this is your corner bit. So remember, you've got a single crochet there. So you're going to do a single crochet into there again. And then you can either chain and do a slip stitch to make it a bit more solid, or you can just just um, literally just do um, a slip stitch. But um, depends how rounded or square you want. So I'm just going to go back so I can show you that again. So basically, you're going to go into there, do your single crochet, and you can either do a chain or a slip stitch. And I'm going to do a slip stitch for this one. So a slip stitch into the next. And crochet so I get myself um, finished off so now we're going to just tie this bit off and snip it off and then just tighten it up so you've got your perfect square here if I can show you that one um, so basically you've got your border and you've got your um, edging um, square perfectly nicely done so you've got your square there you go um, now you're going to do the shells uh, which is going to go all the way around now the shell is 
a little bit um it's a bit like you can have as many as you want that you can fit in it's no set pattern but it's nice to get the edges if you can identical but doesn't always work the way but you can play around with it and try and get them exactly where you want them but i'm going to do it uh sort of freehand um so we're going to get the second color which is the blue or whichever color you're using okay so now we're going to thread this yarn um, into somewhere in the middle i'm going to pick this spot here and pull up a loop of your second color and then we're going to chain just to secure it chain one just to secure it and as you go along you're going to weave these ends in as you go along we're going to weave um, the blue ends so for this we're going to we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to do five double crochet US terms and UK term I think it's a single crochet but I learn on US terms so that's what I use um, so for this you're going to yarn over and you're going to miss one stitch and you're going to do five double crochets into the next stitch so that's one two three four five that's five there's your first shell made okay and now for this bit we're going to do um, a slip stitch but we're going to skip one and do a slip stitch into the next one to secure that shell now for this bit we're going to um, skip a stitch yarn over and five double crochets into the next one so that's one two three four five so you've secured your end in as well and that's two shells made that's your two shells now for the next bit you're gonna skip a stitch and slip stitch into the next okay now for this bit because we're coming near to the corner and we're going to try and do a corner um, this doesn't always work that way but you can try and play around with it so it does work that way to do a corner where you've got two shells in the corner if you can see two shells in the corner but it doesn't always work that way but if you can get it that way just play around with it and uh, you may be able to so for this bit we're going to skip a stitch and do five double crochets into the next so one two three four five okay that's five so as we come into the corner bit we're going to skip a stitch and we're going to slip stitch into the next okay now for this one uh, I'm not going to skip a stitch because I want these two corner ones to be close together so what we're going to do we're going to just at the corner we'll do that and we're going to go straight in with um, your um, five shell double crochet straight into the next stitch which is here so that's grab that one two three oops four five there you go so you've got your two shells at the corner now going along this side now we're gonna skip a stitch and uh, slip stitch into the next don't forget your slip stitches in between easily done and then yarn over skip a stitch and another five double crochets into that stitch That's two three four five 
I'm just going to show you at the moment that's how it looks so you've got the corners and you've got the rest to go so we're going to go all the way along to the next corner so again skip a stitch slip stitch skip a stitch and yarn over and five double crochets into the next two three oops got a bit of a knot sorry about that three four five skip a stitch slip stitch into the next and then five skip another stitch and five into the next so one two three four five so let's draw up some more yarn skip a stitch and slip stitch into the next yarn over and skip a stitch and five double crochets into the next skip a stitch slip stitch skip a stitch five double crochets into the next uh, skip a stitch slip stitch Okay, and then skip a stitch, five uh, double crochets into the next. Okay, then at the corner you want to slip stitch and then you want to do another five into that corner as well so that's one two three four five Okay, so now we're going to uh, we need to attach it so we need to skip a stitch and slip stitch into the next so as you can see you're getting your corners corners are all being done now go ahead and work your way all the way around to the next corner and I'll meet you when we get to the final corner and when we fasten off okay so we're at the other corner this is the not the last corner, but it's the corner before the last. So for hit for this bit, we're going to again do the same again. I've just done my slip stitch into that one and then yarn over and I'm gonna go into that stitch and do another five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, slip stitch into that one and then we're going to do another so we're going to do yarn over and go into this one into this stitch here tucking away your yarn ends as well as you go along that's one 
Okay. Three. Four. And five. Slip stitch into the second one and over. Okay, so we're at the last corner. We've done that corner, we're at the last corner and we're gonna finish off. So yarn over, skip a stitch and do my final shells, corner shell, I should say. That's two, three, four, and five. Do a little slip stitch and then another shell. There you go, and slip stitch. All right, so we're coming into the last shell of the round, and so I'm going to do the same again, just slip stitch, I mean slip stitch, skip a stitch, and then into the space. That's one. We're gonna now. This is the ending, so we're gonna literally just slip stitch into this space here or in between the chain and the single crochet. So we're gonna slip stitch into that so you form a nice finish, and we're gonna fasten off. So for this, just get your scissors, chop it off, and you've got the first part of your um, crochet hook holder. So this is the, the, back, the back of it. This is this part here. Okay, so we're gonna put this aside for now because we're gonna now continue with the inner part of the crochet hook holder, which is this bit where you're gonna have all the pockets to put your hooks in. So for that bit, we're going to do the same again. We're going to take the same colour yarn for that for the inside. I mean, you can do any colour you like, really, but I'm going to use the same colour again. You can use blue, you can use any colour or any colour that you have, um, but I'm using the same colour again. So for this bit, we're going to chain 29 again. So it's basically the same same as you've done for the outer bit, okay? So you're gonna chain 29. So 
put um, a loop on our hook. Okay, and for this we're going to um, chain 29. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29. So it's the same size as what you've made for the outer bit of the cover. So for this we do two rows of single crochets and in between each row you chain one when you turn. So we're going to do, do two rows. So that's hook into the second chain from the hook. That's one two. So you're going to single crochet all the way down. Single crochet, single crochet all the way. Single crochet. So that's, this is your first row <laughs> that we're doing here and at the end we're going to chain one and do a second row of single crochet. Okay, so we're at the end, last chain, put your hook in, chain one and turn and then continue doing single crochet all the way down to the very end and when, I, when you get to the end I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so we're at the end now and I'm going to do my last single crochet into the V and pop your hook in and single crochet. Okay, so now for the next bit, we're going to chain one and turn. So now that you've done the chain one, you turn, you're gonna start doing your pockets. So for this, we're gonna do single crochet 16 down. So just 16 down, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so you should have 12 left. Now those 12, we're gonna do um, single crochet back loops only. So single crochet back loops, which are these ones here. So single crochet back loops, so here we go. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. 
Right, so you've got 12. You've done 12 back loops there. Now, after this, you're gonna chain one and turn. So you're gonna chain one and you're just gonna turn, turn your work. Okay, so now we're going to um, 12, do 12 single crochets in the skipped loops. So you're gonna go back up and do 12 in those skipped loops. loops. If you can see the skipped loops behind. So put your hook into the first one. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So you formed a little pocket. That's 12. 12 in the back loops. So now that you've done the 12 in the um, in the last round, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn. You're going to turn your work. And then you're going to do um, single crochet all the way around. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 single crochets and then oops, you're going to turn your work and you're going to do another 12 single crochets so one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's your twelve um, going the other way. <clears throat> now you've got your twelve and you've, you've formed your pocket. Now you need to go up now the, the rest of the 16. So we're gonna go back up 16 more. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, <clears throat> excuse me, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So you've done your sixteen. Now you're going to come back down again. So we chain one and turn. You come back down because you're going to make this a bigger pocket it's a single pocket you can have it this small if you want but we're going to make it bigger so that you can fit these uh, soft touch hooks in so <clears throat> back again 16 16 down so that's one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, tw
six, seven, <clears throat> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. So now we're going to come back down 12 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, <clears throat> 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we're going to do another twelve all the way up the side. Twelve again, so. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. <clears throat> okay, so now you've got your pocket formed. Okay, so for this bit, we're going to now <clears throat> chain one again and turn your work and go back all the way round and I'll show you what to do. So single crochet all the way. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve, and then we do another twelve going up one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve up, and then we're going to go sixteen. Upwards again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Chain one and turn your work. So now to um, seal your pocket, because this is the pocket where your crochet hook's gonna go in, we're going to go all the way down, 16 single crochets, all the way back down until we get to this point here. So 16 of those. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Okay, so that's your 16 down, back down. <clears throat> now what you need to do is you need to close this off. So for this, we work into the very first back loop of the front of the pocket. The very first back loop, which is just here. And we then join it with the um, two, um, sorry, we join the back loop with the two loops of the other side. So back, get the back loop and join in with the two loops. So you have that on your hook. Pull through, single crochet. Again, back loop with the, make sure you're getting it into the right place. So you need to get your back loop and put it in with the two loops on the other side. <clears throat> Pull up a loop, single crochet, back loop with two loops. Pull up a loop, single crochet, back loop with the two loops. If you can see that. Show you again. So basically take the back loop and go into the two loops and pull up the loop and just do that all the way down. So back loop, two loops, single crochet, 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 and then you do your last back loop, you can find it, it's in there somewhere, two loops and single crochet. And then you chain, if you're going to do um, this size pocket all along and you want, I've done one, two, three, four, five pockets, depending on the size of your project, you might want to do more pockets, but I've got five here, um, so basically five pockets are going to go onto this um, to fit the back of this that I made earlier. So basically we're going to do the same again, we're going to go up and down until we get five pockets. Um, so for this bit we're going to, as I said, chain one, so we chain one, turn your work and go up all the way. So single crochets all the way up, single crochets, so that's single crochet. Single crochet. So that's single crochet till the end, and we're almost there. Last one, <clears throat> chain one and turn your work because you're going to come back down again and do the same again. So 16 down, that's one, two, three, four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So now we're going to do, because we've come to the sixteen, we've got another twelve to do. And these twelve again, like before, we're going to do single crochet in back loops only. So if you just turn your work, you can see You've got your front loops and your back, and again, single crochet, back loops only. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Chain one and turn your work. So now you want to go into the, the skip loops again, like you did before. So we're going to go into the skip loops. So the first skip loop is Make sure you find the right one. Skip loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's twelve. Now, for this bit, you're going to chain one again and turn your work. So that you can go back in and do um, another 12 and another 12 going up. So now that you've done your chain, you just turn, turn your work, and again you're going to go into the each 12 again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And now another twelve going back up, going back this way. So that's twelve, but going back. So that's one. Make sure you get your hook in the right place. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Now we're going to go back up to 16 now, the rest of the way. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Chain one and turn your work. Again, you're going to go down one more time, 16, and all the way up. So I'm going to do that again. Actually, not 16, all the way down, and then show you what to do. So I'm going to go all the way down, doing um, single crochets again, all the way. Single crochet. Single crochet. Now, if you did want this smaller, um, the hook pocket, if you wanted just to put the metal hooks in there, then you could just leave it like that. <clears throat> but if you've got these type of handled hooks, you'd need something a bit wider you can do it double the size so I'm doing double because it fits my hooks so you know I'm just going to go and do another round just to make it a double pocket so all the way around single crochet all the way And then all the way around again. Oops. To the other side of the pocket. Chain one, turn your work. So you're going to do another round, going all the way down 12, all the way up 12 and 16, and I'll meet you when you get to this end and show you how to join the pocket again. Okay, uh, so we've come to the end of this bit and the pocket's still open. So we're going to chain one, turn our work, and this is the final round to join the pocket. <laughs> So we need to go all the way down and join up now. So do 16 single crochets again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so you've done your 16 all the way down. Now you're going to close this pocket off. So again, we want to, you want to take the back loop of the first single crochet, which is just there on top, back loop. Back loop, okay. And then we want to join it with the um, two loops from the other side of the pocket. 
so the two loops. So we're going to go into this one and then do a single crochet. Okay, so we go into the back loop of the front pocket and then into the two loops of the back of the pocket. Back loop, two loops, single crochet, back loop, two loops, single crochet, all the way down, all the way down. Make sure you get the right ones in. Back loop and I mean back loop and both loops. And then back loop, two loops, and back loop. Sometimes it's tucked away, you can't see it, but it's in there. Back loop and two loops. So, and there you go. So there you go. That's that's your, I'm just going to show you what that looks like. So that is literally just two pockets at the moment, but it's just an, to show you how it looks like. But if you want more pockets, which you probably are going to need more pockets. So then you can put your, you can see how your hooks actually fit in quite nicely. There you go. So continue doing the same thing until the end, um, until you get about how many pockets you want really, and, and I'll show you how, what to do next. Okay, so I've now done five pockets. I mean, you may have more or less, I don't know, but you can have as many as you want, but I've, I've made my five pockets and that's now um, able to go into the the first thing that we made, which is the, if you get the right side, is the uh, cover of the crochet hook. So that should fit into there. I'm going to do my final um, round of single crochet all the way down, and, and then that will fit perfectly well, and then we can start sewing that together, and I can show you how to do that. But first of all, let's just do the last row of single crochet just to sort of give it a border. Um, I'm going to do that now. I'm just do a single row of single crochet all the way around, all the way down, I should say, all the way down, and that's all the way. Single crochet. And I've made these quite tight, these stitches, as you can see, because they are, it is meant to be a firm crochet holder, not a floppy one where they all start falling out. It's, um, I don't want the crochet hooks to fall out. You want something a bit more sturdy. So, hence the double layer. So, there you go, we're coming to the end. I'll show you how to fasten off. Single crochet. Right. There we go. And then get your scissors, snip off the ends, and we're going to do. Uh, Right, there we go. So we're going to now sew in our ends because we don't want all these ends hanging about. Um, so I'll just get myself a darning needle. So we've got our needle and I'm gonna just start sewing off. I'll show you how to sew the ends in. And then you can do it yourself. Just get your needle, thread your yarn through, and then just find your ends. Put 
pull it through, secure it even further. give it a snip. I'm going to let you finish off sewing on your ends and then I'll meet you back here to show you how to sew this onto the back, the front bit onto the back of your holder. Okay so now I've tied in all my ends so it's all nice and tidy and that's the back, that's the front. Now we're going to um, sew this onto the the back the front onto the back so we'll need some extra yarn for that and and here is the yarn um, so we've got some spare yarn left so that's good um, and you might need to I mean just use your own judgment on how much you might need to to sew it um, I'm gonna cut a fair amount probably I'm not sure how much, but I've just cut quite a bit there, as you can see. Uh, be careful you don't get tangled up with it. So, you know, if you can cut it as long as you can, so it will be, it'll be enough to sew the, uh, the entire thing onto the back. So for this, I'm going to use some either pins or stitch markers just to sort of put it in place. Um, I'm going to use these stitch markers just to sort of clip it in place so that it's all nice and even. You can use pins if you want. Um, you can use anything really. It's just uh, just to tack it in place just temporarily so we don't sort of get it aligned with the inside of your your um, case, cook case. So that's all nicely. I'm not going to close them because I'm just going to hold the, the actual inside bit in place. There we go. Oops, that's, that's good. Okay, so that's all in place. All you need to do now is just sew round the edges so that it is, it's no perfect stitching of any kind. It's just literally I'll show you how it's done. Um, it doesn't show anyway once it's all blended in with the same colour. So I'm just going to thread my needle through, my yarn through my needle. And oops, there we go, got it through. That's a pretty long bit of string here, so we don't want to get tangled up. And I've already got a knot in it, I'm afraid. <laughs> So I'm just going to unravel that, that knot that's in there. Oops, there we go. Alright, that's unraveled. And for this bit, we're going to um, all right, start. I'm going to start. You can start anywhere really. I'm going to start on the top left hand corner. And I'm going to start with a, it's almost like a, um, like a crab stitch for crochet. That's what we're doing, a crab kind of stitch. So make sure you've got it all aligned properly. And I'm just gonna sew through, grab a bit of yarn. I'm just gonna tuck that inside like that. And then continue now all the way around. So we're going to do this kind of stitch all the way around where we just put it in somewhere where you see a um, stitch. So you're basically just attaching them together. So find a little loop. If you can find loops just to sort of get the loops together and um, sew your end, sew it in. It's pretty straightforward. It's going to go for that one, I think. Just 
very good at sewing you'll get this nice and neat So basically it's just going to be all the way and then you need to do all the same all the way around. I'm just going to start doing a little bit just to show you how it's done and then I'll leave it to yourself to do. Make them as even as you can, the stitches, so it just looks neat. So it kind of just, as you can see, is giving it a, a nice neat join. I'm just going to remove this so I don't look at So you're getting it all, um, it's quite quite easy to do that bit. There we go. Try not to attach the, um, the, the blue shells. You need to attach with the beige or whatever color that's inside what the inner colour is, just attach so it doesn't um, grab the the shells because you don't want to grab the shells, you just want to grab the yarn that's the same colour behind. So Give it a tug as well so it's all nice and um, without crimpling it too much just give it a gentle tug so you've got this very very neat finish as you can see pretty neat okay so you come to the corner and you just just turn everything around and start again. Grab that one. Okay, so I think you get the idea. Um, I'm going to leave you to finish off all the edges so it's all neat all the way around until you come to the other end, and then I'll show you what to do next. So continue doing that. Okay, so we've come to the end of this bit, and I'm just going to show you how to finish off. Uh, I'm just going to take this out and just going to join the last few stitches and oops, there we are and then make sure it's all secure
Right, I'm going to just now, now what you need to do, because you've got some excess yarn, is just literally just weave it in and out and try and sort of hide it in the back somewhere. Oops, I'm just going to go in and out of the project. it and then just take it right the way through and uh, there you go now all you need to do is just snip it off I've got my scissors there you go so now what we've got now we'll just take these off stitch markers You've got your very nice flat um, holder and ready to sort of close up and put your hooks in. And for the next part, I'm going to show you how to do the. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this, the chain with the butterfly, and that's the next bit. Okay. So for the next bit, you're going to need um, a very long piece of yarn, about 54 um, centimeters or more, I would say, because it's going to join onto this in a in a um, chain, and you're going to have to have um, enough for the butterfly. If I can show you the butterfly, um, one second. The butterfly has also got the body, and that's attached all in one piece where the chain is, so that's all attached. Um, so you'll need a really long piece. I mean, it's up to you how long you want it. You can have it as long or as short as you want, but more than 55, uh, 54 inches would be perfect. I've got a very long piece here and I can always trim it afterwards if, if it's too long. Um, yeah, so this for this bit, you'll need to, um, You'll need to find a position in your, could be, you can have it this side or left-handed, this side if you're right-handed, but I'm going to do it this side today, and that is, you need to sort of find the middle somewhere, like there's, there's two shells here in the middle, which we can start attaching it to, so what you'll need is, you'll need your hook again, um, so I'll just grab my hook. So what you'll need, you'll do now, you'll get your chain and you double it. Um, so I've doubled it over, however long you want it, you just double it. Okay, and then what you do is you're going to make sure you got it the right way up. This is the pocket side. So you need to put it sort of, I would say the middle is about here. So we're going to put our hook into that middle bit and we're going to, um, we're going to sort of put our, put your hook any old way, you can be back or front, pull up your loop, there you go. Now what you want to do is you want to start um, chaining. So for this, we're going to do this so you've got your, you've pulled through your hook, the loop, through the loop, through the, through the gap, sorry, with your loop, with your hook. So you pull the loop through and what you need to do is you need to literally just chain the whole thing until you've got it the length you want it. So that's one. You can have as many chains as you want. I'm just going to go on until I feel it's, it's the length I want it. So. Just keep going until it's the length you want it to be. You can even have a wrap over twice round instead of, I've got it here once round, this is once round, but you can have it wrap over so it's kind of like even longer and wraps around a bit more. So it's entirely up to you, it depends how long 
you want your chain to be. Um, but I'm going to start now and show you how it's done. So just keep chaining until you get the right size you want. forget you have to leave a bit of space for the butterfly body the body of the butterfly because that also um, requires a bit of the chain that you're making I'm just going to check the length of this one um, So far it is, let's say, a bit longer, I need it a bit longer. I'm going to leave it at this length for now and come back to it. Uh, we might have to adjust it, it until we've done the butterfly. So I'm now going to show you how you do the, uh, the butterfly motif. So get your blue yarn or whatever colour you want. And for the butterfly motif, we're going to do a magic ring to start with. So yarn over two fingers, cross over. Pull the yarn through and go into chain two. That's one, two. Okay, that's your magic ring. Now, into the magic ring, we're going to do seven half double crochets into the ring. Seven. So, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three. That's one. Pull through, pull through three into the ring, pull through three on you. So you've got, so you need seven, so you've got the, the chain, two, that's three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're going to pull tight this, uh, we're going to pull tight now. Now what we're going to do now is, um, slip stitch into the second chain from the beginning. So we need to slip stitch into the second chain from the beginning. So if you find the second chain, which is just there, from the beginning, slip stitch. Okay, so you've got your circle, circular bit there. Now, next stage is, once you've done that, you chain three. So chain up three. One, two, three. That's three. Chain three. Next stage is, what we do next is, um, four treble crochet into the same stitch as the chain. So we need to do four trebles into the same stitch as the chain the chain three that we've just done so treble is to yarn over twice and that's yarn over yarn over yarn over pull through and then we need four of these so that's one yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two So that's two, three, 
and four. Four trebles into that space. So now what we're going to do, we're going to um, chain three. So one, two, three. Slip stitch into the next stitch. So that's careful where you're going into. So we want to slip stitch into the next stitch, which is here. Slip stitch. Sorry about that. Let's try again. It's a very tight stitch, but it's there. Slip stitch into the next stitch. Here it is. It was hiding. So slip stitch. Right, now you've done that. Um, you chain two. One and two. And three double crochets into the next stitch. So we want three doubles into the next stitch. So one, two, three. There you go. Now we want to chain two, one and two. Okay. Now we want to do three double into the next stitch, three double crochets into the next stitch. So actually, sorry. Um, we need to slip stitch first. There you go. And then three doubles into the next stitch. So one, two, three. There we go. Three doubles into the next stitch. Chain two, one and two. And then we slip stitch into the next stitch. So slip stitch into that stitch. Chain three. One, two, three. Four trebles into the next stitch. So four trebles. Run over twice. One, two, Two, three, and four. That's four into there. Then we slip stitch into the next, slip stitch into the next stitch. There you go, and you're finished. You can even, if you feel like you want to join the two at the top, or you can leave that for the chain to go run through, um, or you can just slip stitch again into the next stitch, which then gives it a finished edge. Okay, then you tie off and pull onto the thing, the, um, and you've got yourself your butterfly. That's your butterfly, okay? Now, sewing your ends, and I'll show you how to attach this butterfly onto your um, project. Okay, so I've tied in my ends on the butterfly, and now I'm gonna show you how to attach the body and the chain. Um, okay, so leave a little, um, when you finish the chain, whatever size you've got it, leave a little space. In fact, pull through the last chain as wide as you can, and then just put it against the body of the butterfly, see how you want it. Um, so basically, so as you've got the, um, the body you know, against your butterfly, now what you're going to do is you're going to take the chain and you're going to sort of, you need to wrap it around the butterfly. 
if I can show you. You can need these strands as well because we need that for the antennas. Um, you're going to wrap the, round the butterfly's body like so. Let's take the antennas off so you can see. So we're going to take the, the body and we're going to take this and we're going to thread the whole case through the loop, through this loop. Okay, if you make the loop big enough, you can do that. So you want to thread that through. So now you've got the, um, you can pull it tight now, actually. I'm going to show you how to do that. Hold on a second. Um, yes, if you pull it tight, there you go. You've got the butterfly in place. All right, so that's that. So you've got the butterfly in place and um, and there's not much sewing to do. There's not there's hardly any sewing to do. You could you could enforce it if you want and make it a little bit stronger by um, just getting the needle and sewing your your ends all the way through if you want. Um, you can do that. Or you can just do it as tight as you want. Just a bit tighter at the bottom that's right make sure the body's secure and what you can do is you can thread it through again actually I'm going to give it I'm going to cut it so it's a little bit shorter so it's easier to to manage and then with the ends I'll show you what you can do to enforce it so it doesn't come off it's just thread your um, yarn through okay and right so that's the back of the butterfly and what you want to do is you can just literally just sew it upwards like that and take the other end Oh, there we go. And we're going to enforce that end upwards as well. You can sew it upwards and down if you want. It's up to you. You can even tie it. You can do whatever you want, really, just to sort of... I'm just going to bring this onto the other side. Okay, so now you've got your butterfly enforced. Um, the body's not actually, you can have it any way round you want it, but you can twist it round and put it round the right way. Uh, this one's just a bit twisted, so if we just turn the cord round, there we go. So you've got the, you can have the um, chains at the front, or you can have it the other way. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference really. Um, Okay, so now you've got your antennas, so what you're going to do with that is you're going to you're going to tie these to the length that you want the little antenna to be. So I'm going to tie it to about, about that length will do, and the other one equally. You can tie it twice if you want or once depending how you want it and then just snip them off. So you've got your antennas there. There you go. Now that is your butterfly completed and you've got your whole um, crochet holder case completed. So I'm going to put the crochet hooks in so you can see how it looks. Um, there we go. That's 
five crochet hooks. You can have needles put in here anywhere you want. You can have your stitch markers on there like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to show you how it closes. Wrap it round and then you just take the butterfly and just so it holds it all in place. So that's your crochet hook holder. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and you can see more of my videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.